Hi, this is Jonna with Bees Knees, and today I'm going to walk you through how to use outside or system fonts in Cricut Design Space. These are fonts that are not managed and installed by Cricut. So if I would go over here to text, and I come up here to font, and you see at the top there are Cricut fonts and there are system fonts. So these system fonts are outside fonts. That's something that you have downloaded onto your computer or your device yourself and then luckily it automatically shows up in Cricut Design Space and you can use them in the software. And why would you want to do that? Cricut, Cricut offers a bunch of options. But I like using my own fonts, um, not only free fonts from Defont for personal use, but also fonts that I use in my designs that I purchase license for. And they're just fonts that I like. I like the way they look. I like the way they they work well. And if you can see here, here are my system fonts. I have over 400 fonts in here. And these are all things that I have downloaded onto my device or my computer myself. So I'm going to walk you through exactly how I do that so that when it comes to fonts in Cricut Design Space, the sky is the limit. So let's talk about free fonts first. So you've probably heard of this website called defont.com. Here, as you can see when it pulls it up, here's some recently added fonts, so you can scroll down and see those. And then if you're looking for something in particular, like let's say we want a handwritten script, just click on that, and that brings up the handwritten scripts. And there's 592 pages, so there's more than enough to choose from. I have the shorelines, it's fabulous. And something else that's great is, let's say you want to know what your text is going to look like. Just come down here to preview, hit submit, and it shows me what my text looks like in all of these handwritten script fonts. So you can hopefully find one that works for you. So let's just say we want to use this sweet romance. If you look over here, it tells you how many times it's been downloaded. 135,000 times that tells me this is probably a pretty good file and here it says it's free for personal use to font files if you want to know more about it click on it and here is sweet romance and it will show you what the uppercase and the lowercase letters look like and any symbols or additional characters up here is the information if you would like a commercial or an extended license. So link to purchase, that's where you can go. So if you do want to use these for commercial use, you can get the appropriate license and be all set. So I can either download from here or let's say I want to go back and I can hit this download button right here. So this drops this down into my download bar on the bottom of my PC. If you're on a device and it doesn't do this, then go out and search for where your files get downloaded on your device. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to click on the zip file. And you don't even have to extract it, you can just open it up. And right here it has a couple different types of documents. So there's a README text document, and this is telling you if you want the extended license, this is how you do it, so that's great info there. This is a PNG file, which is just giving you the, the cover photo for the font. And then we have, so these are the files that we're really interested in. This is the true type font file and an open type font file. You don't have to download them both. You just have to make a decision. Do you want the true type font or the open type font? And I will tell you, you always want the open type font. Basically, true type font came around in the 80s. And then a decade later, the new and improved, which was open type font, came along. And what open type font gives you basically is more decorative pieces. So it gives you more glyphs and swirls and flourishes and all of those fun things that the extra add-ons that you can use in your designs. So I always, I want all the extras, so I always go for the open type font. 
So I'm going to double click on that and then this pops up and it says what do you want to do and I want to install it so you just hit the install button and that is it. So you close it out now you do have to go back into Cricut and you have to exit Cricut. You have to restart it. So we're going to quit it and then we're going to come back into it. And we'll go back into our canvas. And when I select text, if I come over here, now you have to search for it in your system font. You will not find it in your Cricut font because it is not a Cricut font. So if I sweet search for Sweet Romance, there is the Sweet Romance that I just downloaded. So this is perfect and exciting, but because I'm a designer, I always make sure I purchase the commercial license. And so I do like to purchase some of my fonts directly off of, I use font bundles and Etsy a lot. And I find some of the paid fonts do cut better on my Cricut. So let's head on over to Etsy and I will show you how you download a font from Etsy and install it into Cricut Design Space. So over at Etsy, I have had my eye on this font for a while, Highland. So it's $12 and it does come with a commercial use um, license. So when you find your product, go ahead and purchase it. And then in Etsy with all my digital downloads on the, after I've purchased on the things for your order page, I like to access my downloads here as opposed to waiting for the email that comes from Etsy. You can also go up to your account and click on purchases to view them there. So I'm going to come over and I'm going to download it. And again, it does the same thing as we did on Defont. Your, the zip file downloads automatically. All you need to do is either open it from your download bar or or search for it on your computer wherever your downloads are. So then we're just going to open it. And again, you see the same type of thing. Here's information about the font license. This is probably also just the image of the font cover. And then you have your open type and your true type font file. And as we know, we want to go with the open type font file because it gives us more options than the true type font file. And it looks exactly the same as it did on Defont. This box pops up and we want to go ahead and install. And just like before, you also, when you go to Cricut, you have to log out of Cricut. Log back into Cricut. And again, you have to go under Systems and let's search for our download and there it is, our brand new font that we just purchased. I hope you found this information helpful. Now get out there and find your next amazing font.